What is that? They have elevators back then? Oh. Guys, welcome back. My name's Jake, and today I'm watching Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 3 for the very first time. Guys, if you haven't seen my first two videos, I watched the first two episodes. So go watch those first. Come back, check this one out. I'm going to talk about a couple things first before I get into this. So if you guys want to just skip ahead to the reaction, I totally understand. But yeah, I, I got to address a few things. So yeah, if you guys saw my last reaction, uh, you probably noticed I got a little emotional at the end there when Ned killed Lady, a Sansa's wolf. The reason is uh, I have a dog myself. I don't have any kids or anything. So my dog is my world. My dog is my, my child, basically. I love her to death. And obviously, we also saw Micah, the, the butcher boy. He got chased down and he was killed as well. But when Ned killed Lady at the end, everything else went out the window for me, to be honest with you. Um, both deaths were unjust. They shouldn't have happened. Definitely Micah should not have been killed. You know, he was just playing with Arya. You know, they were just playing with sticks, practicing some sword fighting, whatever. So it didn't make sense for him to die, obviously. But Joffrey, you know, he, he lied and said that they were beating him with clubs. So I'm assuming that's why he was killed. And, you know, my, my initial reaction when I saw him dead on the horse was I was shocked. But it didn't hit me as much as when Lady was killed because, one, we didn't see the death of Micah on screen. We already had a connection built with the Starks, and so their wolves are like, you know, an extension of them, right, at, at this point for me. So I, you know, I, I built more of an emotional bond, if you want to call it that, with Lady, uh, with, with Sansa's wolf, you know. Even though we didn't see much of her in the show so far, uh, it still hit me more because, you know, there's the connection they have with the Stark children, right? So I imagine myself losing my dog and it just kind of, you know, got a little crazy for me. So that's why I reacted the way I did. But thank you for the ones that were defending me in the comments talking about how you have an animal or you love animals and, you know, this was like a hard scene for you guys. It was definitely hard for me to watch, but... When I said that I wasn't going to continue, it was just in the moment, you know. I'm definitely going to continue the series, so don't worry about that. But I apologize in advance if I do get a little emotional about certain things. I'm a sensitive guy, what can I say? Uh, I have a lot of empathy for characters, animals, and shows, you know, so. Also, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. We destroyed the sub goal. I had a sub goal of 500 subs by the end of the month. Uh, we're already at 600 at the time of me recording this, so... I, I can't thank you guys enough. That's just incredible. So I want to hit a thousand subs by the end of uh, February. So if you guys want to help me hit that goal, all you got to do is subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so you do not miss any reactions. Okay, I'm going to be doing the whole thing so you don't want to miss it. And yeah, you know, uh, a lot of you did mention I should probably get some moderators for the comments. Um, I think I agree because I did see a lot of comments that were very lengthy and had a lot of different information about the show and and lore that I don't know anything about yet. So any comments that had a lot of information, I just kind of skimmed through, trying not to soak too much of it in because I do want to find out things in the in the time you guys found out in the show, right? I want this to be a super genuine reaction from the very start to the very end. Uh, and that includes, you know, just information about the show that I don't know yet, you know? So yeah, I would appreciate if you guys just kept your comments to maybe things I didn't pick up on or, you know, things that you liked that I said or things that you didn't like or things that I could do better or other recommendations for me to watch or things to check out, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, guys, I think that's about it. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on those notifications and drop a comment. Let me know something. But yeah, guys, enough talking. I'm excited. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. I think I've been missing the uh, King's Landing like little intro part. This music gets me so hyped now. Going back to Winterfell. Oh yeah, you guys did mention that um, these places that they show is where we're going to be in the episode, so I saw you guys mention that. I read all the comments, I promise. And I try to respond to all of them, but there's, there's a lot, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit hard. Going back to the wall. Oh, that's right, uh, John. And Tyrion, they just made it there. I still miss the name of that one. That one goes so quick. All right, let's do it. Uh, here we go. This got to be King's Landing. Wow. Scenery in this show is just gorgeous. Welcome, Lord Stark. Grand Meister Pycelle has called a meeting of the small council. The honor of your presence is requested. Like to change into something more appropriate? Bro, he comes from the north, all right? This is what we wear up there. Also, you guys did mention to turn on subtitles, so I've done that. 
me uh, not miss some things, hopefully. Catch all the names. Wow. The Jamie. Thank the gods you're here, Stark. About time we had some stern northern leadership. Glad to see you're protecting the throne. How many king's houses have polished, I wonder? And um, what's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. <laughs> Very handsome armor. Not a scratch on it. I know. People have been swinging at me for years, but they always seem to miss. Chosen your opponents wisely, then. I have yeah. a knack for it. They hate each other, I think. Are we so snarky? I'm standing right here when it happened. It was very brave, your brother, and your father, too. They didn't deserve to die like that. Nobody deserves to die like that. You just stood there and watched. Five hundred men just stood there and watched. All the great knights of the Seven Kingdoms, you think anyone said a word, lifted a finger? Five hundred men, and this room was silent as a crypt. Dude, what are you talking about? Except for the screams, of course. The Mad King laughing. When I watched the Mad King die, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. It felt like justice. Ned, you, you can't take this. Is that what you tell yourself at night? Do something about it. That you were avenging my father when you shoved your sword in Ares Targaryen's back. If I stabbed the Mad King in the belly instead of the back, would you admire me more? You served him well. When serving was safe. So Jamie killed the king, but it was like considered just or right to do. So that's why he's not. I was wondering why isn't he like in prison if he did that, but Lord Varys. We are all praying for Prince Joffrey's full recovery. Shame you didn't say a prayer for the butcher's son. That's true, though. Renly! I told them this meeting could wait another day, but... But we have a kingdom to look after. I've hoped to meet you for some time, Lord Stark. No doubt Lady Catelyn has mentioned me. She has, Lord Baelish. Baelish. Lord, it was Catelyn Tully. A woman worth fighting for, I'm sure you'll agree. That's his wife. Stark. Grand Meister. Oh, how forgetful of me. This belongs to you now. Should we begin? Without the king. Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. Oh, the king's brother. He entrusts some small matters to us that we might lighten the load. We are the lords of small matters here. Like a council or something? My brother instructs us to stage a tournament in honor of Lord Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. Can the treasury bear such expense? I'll have to borrow it. The Lannisters will accommodate, I expect. We already owe Lord Tywin three million gold. Are you telling me the crown is three million in debt? Yet. How could he let this happen? Well, the master of coin finds the money, the king and the hand spend it. I fear his grace doesn't always listen. Counting coppers, he calls it. This tournament is an extravagance we cannot afford. As you will, but still, we'd best make our plans. There will be no plans until I speak to Robert. So the kingdom is in debt. Sounds like, uh... Most Western civilizations today, or most countries in the world, probably. A king should have scars. You fought of a dire wolf. You're a warrior, like your father. I didn't fight off anything. It bit me, and all I did. Oh, he's being honest. That's not true. You killed the beast. You only spared the girl because of the love your father bears her father. I didn't. I... When Ares Targaryen sat on the Iron Throne, your father was a rebel and a traitor. Why is she filling his head with lies? You'll sit on the throne and the truth will be what you make it. Wow. That's what they do. Do I have to marry her? Yes. She's very beautiful. 
And if you don't like her, you only need to see her on formal occasions <laughs> and when the time comes to make little princes and princesses. Wow. And if you'd rather fuck painted whores, you'll fuck painted whores. This is your mom? And if you'd rather lie with noble virgins, so be it. You are my darling boy and the world will be exactly as you want it. Oh, she's crazy. We allow the Northerners too much power. They consider themselves our equals. How would you handle them? I double their taxes. <laughs> oh my god. And command them to supply 10,000 men to the royal army. Why should every lord command his own men? It's primitive. We should have a, a standing army of men loyal to the crown, trained by experienced soldiers. And if the northerners rebel? I'd crush them. Seize Winterfell and install someone loyal to the realm as warden of the north. And these 10,000 northern troops, would they fight for you or their lord? For me, I'm their king. You've just invaded their homeland. Ask them to kill their brothers. I'm not asking. North cannot be held. Not by an outsider, it's too big and too wild. And when the winter comes, the seven gods together couldn't save you and your royal army. A good king knows when to save his strength. And when to destroy his enemies. So you agree? The Starks are enemies. Everyone who isn't us is an enemy. That's crazy, because he's trying to marry one. Enough of that, young lady. I'm practicing. Practicing <laughs> for what? The prince. He's a liar and a coward. He killed my friend. The hound killed your friend. The hound does whatever the prince tells him to do. Enough! I like Arya. She's cool. Not a big fan of Sansa, but... I would rather act like a beast than a lady. Go to your room. We'll speak later. She's just letting out some frustrations. I mean, I feel like she's doing okay. That's for you, love. The table, on the other hand. The same doll maker makes all the Princess Marcella's toys. That doll is so ugly. I'm sorry. Don't you like it? I haven't played with dolls since I was eight. <laughs> He missed a decent gap of time of her <laughs> growing up, I think. <laughs> Giving her a doll. War was easier than daughters. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. Go away! Arya, open the door. Uh-oh. May I come in? Why didn't you hide it? You're gonna get that thing taken. Whose sword is that? Mine. Give it to me. No. I was just looking at it. Okay. I know this maker's mark. This is Micken's work. Where did you get this? <laughs> this is no talk. She didn't snitch. Nice. Little lady shouldn't play with swords. I wasn't playing. And I don't want to be a lady. Hmm. Come here. Okay. And what do you want with this? It's called needle. Kill people. Probably. Played with a name. Joffrey Pro. And who were you hoping to skewer with Needle, your sister? Do you know the first thing about sword fighting? Stick him with the pointy end. <laughs> that was a good line. I asked my kids to practice with me. I asked him. It was my fault. Oh, dang. She feels oh, guilty for that. Oh, no. She didn't do anything. Oh, geez, boy. I hate all of them. The Hound, the Queen and the King, and Joffrey and Sansa. Sansa was dragged before the King and Queen. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. That's messed up. She must take his side, even when he's wrong. But how can you let her marry someone like that? True. Think about it. Look at me. Nah, he don't care. You're a Stark of Winterfell. You know our words. Winter is coming. Mm. You were born in the long summer. You've never known anything else. Oh, it is summer. But now winter is truly coming. And in the winter, we must protect ourselves. Look after one another. Sansa is your sister. I don't hate her. Not really. Obviously. We've come to a dangerous place. We cannot fight a war amongst ourselves. Go on. It's yours. Yeah, let her stab Joffrey with that thing. I can keep it. Try not to stab your sister with it. He's a good dad. You know, he's trying his best. <laughs> if 
you want to own a sword, you better know how to use it. So teacher. She's not gonna learn on her own. Oh, that's right, he Don't woke up. Listen to it. Crows are all liars. <laughs> Was it talking? I hate your stories. Damn. I know a story about a boy who hated stories. <laughs> my favorites were the scary ones. Oh, my sweet summer child. What do you know about fear? Fear is for the winter when the snows fall a hundred feet deep. When the sun hides for years and children are born and live and die all in darkness. Doesn't that happen in Alaska? When the white walkers well, not the dying through part. the woods. Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. And women smothered their babies rather than see them starve. Wow. And wept and felt the tears freeze on their cheeks. God. This is the sort of story that you like. It was that cold? Her tears were freezing? The white walkers came for the first time. Riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. Bad timing or good what timing? Are you telling him now? <laughs> Only what the little lord wants to hear. Get your supper, I want some time with him. So that story could have been true because the White Walkers are real, as we know. Well, what we saw in the first episode. So the rest of that story could have been true, too. The spiders that are big as hounds. He told me the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant named Macumba. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Or they do. You still don't remember anything? I've seen you climb a thousand times. In the wind, in the rain, a thousand times. You never fall. I did, though. It's true, isn't it? So he remembers falling, but not how he fell? What Maester Lewin says about my legs. Don't tell me. I'd rather be dead. Oh. Don't ever say that. I'd rather be dead. Oh my god. That is so sad. So he's paralyzed. Ah, uh, Jamie. It's nine years since I set foot in the capital, and no one knew who I was the last time I came either. Oh, they made it there too. Welcome to King's Landing, Lady Stark. Would you mind following us? I would. We've done nothing wrong. I don't know who's providing your instructions, but... Follow me, Lady Stark. Uh-oh. Cat. Oh, that guy. Go on. Go upstairs. He was on the, the council thing, right? You little worm! You take me for some back alley Sally you can drag into a... <laughs> Snap. Snap him away. How dare you bring me here? Have you lost your mind? No one will come looking for you here, isn't that what you wanted? How did you know I was coming to King's Landing? A dear friend told me. Just worry about the paparazzi snapping a few pics Lord of her Varys, in there, probably. To see you again after so many years is a blessing. Your poor hands. How did you know I was coming? Knowledge is my trade, my lady. Valerian steel. Do you know whose dagger this is? I must admit I do not. Well, well, this is an historic day. Something you don't know, that I do. There's only one dagger like this in all of the Seven Kingdoms. It's mine. Yours? At least it was, until the tournament on Prince Joffrey's last name day. I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister. The imp. No, I don't... What? Why would he try to kill Bran? He was excited to that. He was like, Lord alive. Lord Snow here grew up in a castle, spitting down on the likes of you. Do you think Ned Stark's bastard bleeds like the rest of us? <laughs> okay. 
Might need someone else to try. They're not looking too good so far. Oh, 2v1? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Lord Snow, it appears you're the least useless person here. That's one way to put it, I guess. Don't clean yourselves up. There's only so much I can stomach in a day. I need him to turn this bunch of thieves and runaways into men of the night's watch. And how's that going, Commander Mormont? Slowly. <laughs> Here's so. The raven came for Ned Stark's son. Good news or bad? Both. Lord Stark. To give you this earlier. So forget all these days. Come on, dude, hurry up. Good news? None of your business. Perhaps you'd like to share it with your wife. My wife is in Winterfell. Is she? Nope. He knows where she is. Weird that he didn't just tell him. I thought that she'd be safest in here. One of several such establishments I own. <laughs> You're a funny man. Huh? <laughs> Ned! Oh, does he think that he's like making a joke about her being like a sex worker or something? <laughs> ah, the Starks. Quick tempers, slow minds. Strong, though. Broke my nose, busted. It's not his fault you suck at fighting, dude. Relax. It's an improvement. <laughs> Uh, maybe you shouldn't have said that, bro. Threw you over the wall. I wonder how long it'd take it to hit. I wonder if they'd find you before the wolves did. Guys, relax. It's not that serious. What you looking at, half man? Oh, Tyrion will save him. I'm looking at you. Yes. You've got an interesting face. I think they would look marvelous decorating spikes in King's Landing. Perhaps I'll write to my sister, the Queen, about it. <laughs> Name dropping. That's like a big name drop, too. Can't really top that. Good job, Tyrion. Everybody knew what this place was, and no one told me. My father knew, and he left me to rot at the wall all the same. Dude, you wanted to go. I've been asking the Lord Commander about them. Fascinating stories. They hate me because I'm better than they are. So I don't imagine any of them have ever held a real sword before they came here. That makes sense. Your brother Bran... ...has woken up. The mere suggestion that the Queen's brother tried to kill your boy would be considered treason. We have the blade. Which Lord Tyrion will say was stolen from him. The only man who could say otherwise has no throat. Peter has promised to help us find the truth. He's like a little brother to me, Ned. He would never betray my trust. He looks like skeevy. I've never been able to refuse your wife anything. I won't forget this. You're a true friend. Don't tell anyone. I have a reputation to maintain. I don't know. Something about this guy. Also, the fact that he's like into your wife. Stupid. Calm down. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? I was thinking of us. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. He said nothing. He remembers nothing. Then what are you raving about? We'll say he was lying. We'll say he was dreaming. We'll say whatever we like. I think we can outfox a ten-year-old. They can write a ballad about us. The war for Cersei's cunt. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> You. Let me. That was crazy to say. The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Him, Ned Stark, the king, the whole bloody lot of them until you and I are the only people left in. 
Yo, that's so weird. You're so weird, dude. That, first of all, you would never do that. Also, why... Come on. Thank you. <laughs> I did not want to see that. I know they did it, Ned. The Lannisters in my bones, I know it. She does. The little finger's right. I can't do anything without proof. And if you find the proof? Then I bring it to Robert. And hope he's still the man I once knew. You nearly killed poor little finger yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he still loves you. Does he? I knew it. I knew just the way he was talking about her and looking at her like don't you can't trust a guy that wants your wife, bro. He's always gonna be trying to get her, I think. So I don't know, this is just weird situation going on. Also, that last scene with the Queen and Jamie, the Queen only seems to care now that um, Bran woke up. So, like, that's pretty disingenuous of her. Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I just think she's, like, she's scared to get caught up in, like, you know, everyone finding out, being responsible for it. Yes, it's been a long time. But I still remember every face. You remember your first? Of course, Your Grace. Who was it? That's Hiroshi. How do you do it? Lance through the heart. Oh, I thought they were talking about... <laughs> I thought they were talking about losing their virginity. And was some tarly boy at the Battle of Summer Hall. He came running at me, this... Dumb, highborn, thinking he could end the rebellion with a single swing of his sword. I knocked him down with the hammer. God, I was strong then. Caved in his breastplate. Probably shattered every rib he had. Oh my. Right before I brought it down, he shouted, Wait! Wait! <laughs> He's trying to tell you a secret. They never tell you how they all shit themselves. Hmm. Really? They don't put that part in the songs. Yeah, that that might be hard to put in a song. Or oh, wine. <laughs> He's got such a way of uh Gods, what a stupid talking. name. <laughs> Lancel Lannister. Who named you? Some Half wit with a stutter. <laughs> what are you doing? It's empty, Your Grace. What do you mean it's empty? There's no more wine. Is that what empty means? <laughs> Damn, dude. So get more. <laughs> he has no chill right now. Is that what empty means? <laughs> get in here. Kingslayer! Get in here. He's funny. I like the king. Well, Surrounded by Lannisters. Sometimes. Every time I close my eyes, I see their blonde hair and their smug, satisfied faces. He does look like that. <laughs> Jamie Lannister, son of the mighty Tywin. Forced to mind the door while your king eats and drinks and shits and fucks. We're telling war stories. Who was your first kill, not counting old men? One of the outlaws in the Brotherhood. You were only a squire, mm. 16 years old. You killed Sam and Toyn with the counter repast. Best move I ever saw. You're outlaw. <laughs> Any last words? I cut his head off, so no. What about Aerys Targaryen? What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? Did he call you a traitor? Did he plead for a reprieve? He said the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Burn them all. Burn who? 
Oh, was it talking about Ned's family? Because in the beginning they were talking about how he killed Ned's family. I did catch that part. I didn't mention anything about it, but I did I did hear it. I wonder if that's who that he was trying to burn. And to bring it up to Ned like that in that scene was Jamie doesn't have a, a filter at all. He just says whatever he wants. God. Tell them all to stop. Oh, she didn't like that. Until I command them otherwise. You're learning to talk like a queen. A Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Oh. You dare! You give commands to me. To me. I am Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. I don't take orders from savages or their sluts. Do you hear? Dude, me? kill this guy. I'm tired of him. Yes. Sakaro ask if you want him dead, Kalisi. No. Yep. Come on. It's okay. Please don't hurt him. Everyone like protects the wrong people in this show. Tell him. I don't want my brother harmed. Oh, he's pissed. Well, what? Kill these Dothraki dogs! <laughs> I don't think so. I am your king! Where's your crown, dude? Shall we return to the Kalisa, Kalisi? You don't got a crown yet, bud. Yeah, no one, I feel like no one respects him at all. Like, he's just out there yelling and acting crazy, and everyone's just like, anyways, let's go. Keep him moving. Uh -uh. You walk. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna explode. Like, he's gonna do something crazy. He's been getting, and probably his mind, the short end of the stick. Uh, I feel like he's gonna do something stupid. Where are you going, bro? What is that? They have elevators back then? Whoa. This is like medieval. They got like medieval elevators. That's crazy. Oh, I could not. I could not. I'm, a, I'm afraid of heights, guys. I could not even for a second imagine to do any of this. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. I think it just like snap and... I'm good on that. So like, what do they do up there? They just like look out, keep an eye on everything. That's his uncle, right? Wow. I wanted to be here when you saw it for the first time. I'm leaving this morning. You're leaving. I'm the first ranger. The job is out there. Oh. The guys from the first episode were rangers, I think. I won't let you down. You're not going. You're no ranger, John. But I'm better than every better other. Better than no one. That's probably true, too. You gotta hear that sometimes. A man gets what he earns. When he earns it. I respect that. Saying you're better than everyone is like, you kind of come off kind of like, you know, a little bit big for your britches, buddy. You just got there. Like, how can you be better than anyone when you just showed up? I mean, you're better at fighting, but there's other things too, right? And how do a bear's bulls taste? Bit chewy. What about you, my lord? What's the strangest thing you've eaten? Do Dornish girls count? <laughs> 
I love Tyrion, man. They die in pain. And they do it. So plump little laws like you can enjoy their summer afternoons in peace and comfort. Do you think I'm plump? <laughs> man, he's gonna piss so many people off. I'm not sure what I've done to offend you. I have great admiration for the Night's Watch. I have great admiration for you as First Ranger. You know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But. <laughs> I swear, I didn't know. Don't believe that giants and ghouls and white walkers are lurking beyond the wall. In us and the wildlings is that when that wall went up, our ancestors happened to live on the right side of it. You're right. Maybe you should take him to see one. Then he can go tell everyone that it's the real. Wildlings are no different from us. I know how to track them and I know how to kill them. Wait, wildlings? What is the difference between a wildling and a white walker? You've never been north of the wall. So don't tell me what's out there. Wildling. Hmm. You going below? Wildling. Sounds familiar. Eat well. Did they talk about wildlings in the first episode? Sounds really familiar. I think he's starting to like me. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe like one percent. So you're heading down to King's Landing too. I get about half of my recruits from their dungeons. Oh. Let's share the road. I travel a bit on the grubby side, my lord. Not this time. We'll be staying at the finest castles and inns. No one turns away a Lannister. That was a nice gesture. But you know what? One weird thing about like getting prisoners to be in your Night's Watch thing, how can you trust them if they're like criminals and stuff? Ath Jahakar. Ath Jahakar. Yes, Khaleesi. <sighs> oh, what are you doing? When was last time you bleed? Cup and a feel, real quick. What's it look like? Oh. You change, Khaleesi. Oh shit. Already? The Khaleesi have baby inside her. It is true. She does not bleed for two moons. Her belly starts to swell. She does not want to eat horse. This is what the king and Ned was talking about. Butcher a goat for supper. To watch out for them or her having a baby. I did not expect it to happen this quick. Or even at all, I need maybe. to ride to Quahor. The dang third episode. Uh, we ride for Vice Dotrak. Don't worry. I'll catch you. The road's easy to find. Is he going to get her some medicine or something? Don't stand so still. It's harder to hit a moving target. Oh, they're all getting along now. How many winters have you seen, Lord Tillian? Eight. No. Nine. I say the winter of my birth was three years long, Mr. Annie. Damn. This summer has lasted nine. Oh, wow. Starks are all right eventually. Winter is coming. They make it sound so dramatic. And dark things will come with it. We've been capturing wildlings. What is a wildling? The ones who flee say they've seen the White Walkers. One of our own rangers swore he saw them kill his companions. He swore it right up to the moment Ned Stark chopped his head off. Oh, right. The there are less than a thousand of us now. We can't man the other castles on the wall. We can't properly patrol the wilderness. You guys call this a castle? I don't know about that. Your sister sits by the side of the king. We need help. When winter does come, 
Gods help us all if we're not ready. Is this guy blind? I trust him. If he's blind, he's he's wise. He knows some stuff. He's seen some things. Wait, so a wildling's like a person? That's wild or something? Mirak. How does she know? Goofy no say in that. <laughs> exactly. Is it possible to know, just sort of like feeling it out, like in real life? Wow, that view is incredible. He's doing it. <laughs> he actually did it. It's a story you can tell your kids, grandkids. Will you stop at Winterfell on your way south? I expect I will. Gods know there aren't many feather beds between here and King's Landing. If you see my brother Bran, tell him I miss him. Mm. Tell him I'd visit if I could. Of course. They're also, both of these guys are such good guys, from what I've seen so far. You are late, boy. What are you calling a boy? Tomorrow you will be here at midday. Your dancing master, Sirio Forel. <laughs> nice catch. Tomorrow you will catch it. Now pick it up. <laughs> she didn't really even try. Boy, it is not a great sword that is needing two hands to swing it. Too heavy. It is heavy as it needs to be to make you strong. One hand is all that is needed. Now you are standing all wrong. Turn your body side face. You are skinny. That is good. The target is small. Mm. Now the grip, let me... Nine years, Sirio Farrell was first sword to the Sea Lord of Bravos. Just listen oh. to me, boy. Sounds important. I'm a girl. Boy, girl, you are a sword. I like this guy already. You are not holding a battle axe, you are holding... A needle. Ah. <laughs> this guy's cool. This is not the dance of the Westeros we are learning. This is the Bravos dance. It is swift and sudden. It's like Bruce Lee with the water quote. Must be like all men are made of water. Do you know this? Now you will try to strike me. Yeah, right. She won't be able to do it. <laughs> he just turned. He said one hand. What is this, baseball bat? Nice. That is a good dad for getting her into this. Oh. He's getting wow. worse. He's got like PTSD. Now it's like attached to his daughter. Oh shit. Man, that was a good one. There wasn't no wolf death either. Perfect. Yeah, that was good. I like that. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, that last scene was cool. Um, so basically, like, Ned... I think what I what I picked up on that was... Ned was, like, proud at first. Like, he was, like, excited for her. Happy to see her, like, learning what she wants to learn. And then he starts hearing, like, swords clinking and clanking and whatever. 
and um, I think he's having like flashbacks to back when he was in war and stuff, you know, so he's probably like getting a little bit like PTSD flashbacks, but then also like putting her in that position like, whoa, she's gonna have to be at war maybe, you know, it just it's dangerous, obviously, right? So he's just getting a little worried for her, I'm, I'm assuming. That was like, that, that touched my heart to see him like be proud of her because, you know, obviously she's a girl and maybe back then in this show and this timeline that that wasn't normal for girls to do so you know he's uh he stepped up you know he did a good thing by putting her in there and yeah that was that was heartwarming just seeing that that made me feel good so um what else took place in this episode we had john at the wall a few a few scenes there so john showed up he was like better at fighting than everybody and uh Tyrion mentioned that is because he trained with like an actual what do you call him like a master at arms or something uh at winterfell you know so that makes sense i mean the guys are gonna be a little jealous and and see him as like this rich stuck up like entitled kid coming from a royal whatever so they started bullying him a bit well they tried to like kill him it looked like for a second before Tyrion came in so Tyrion saved the day there you know Tyrion's racking up the brownie points we had a mention of bran not being able to walk that's sad that's sad Bran really was heartbroken by that. Like, he said he wanted to die. Hearing that is, like, crazy. That's so sad. So, you know, I hope I hope that changes somehow for him. Maybe there's some magic or miracle. I don't know. So, yeah, we also had... Um, we had Kat go down to King's Landing with... I don't, I don't know the guy that she was with, but they made it there, and they were looking for some answers for the, you know, the, the blade that they have. And... I don't I don't remember his name I'm sorry uh first time seeing him yeah the guy that likes Ned's wife uh that guy was weird but he has the answers apparently he said it was his blade that he lost somehow in like a bet to Tyrion and that Tyrion well I don't know if they said that Tyrion sold it or if it was stolen but he was saying that Tyrion would probably say that it was stolen so now they're assuming Tyrion put this dagger in the guy that tried to kill Bran's hands so I don't know I don't I, yeah I just don't see Tyrion um doing that for any reason at all that he had no motive to to try to kill Bran clearly he was like kind of excited to hear that Bran would wake up in that scene in the last episode at the breakfast well maybe not excited but he he mentioned it like it was like a good thing you know and then Jamie made the comment about how do I how can I try I don't know Jamie said something along the lines of like, whose side are you on, right? So I don't think Tyrion did it. I, I definitely don't. I think either there was like a miscommunication or it's possible that that guy that said it, the guy that likes Kat, he might be trying to like do, do some weird stuff because he does like Kat, right? And you can't trust a guy that wants your wife. You can't trust a guy that wants your girl. So I just don't trust him from the get. Yeah, I just don't, I don't trust him from, from the beginning. You know, there's there's weird, just weird vibes with that guy. He could be trying to do something shady, so I, I just don't trust him. Oh, this one's big. We find out that, what's her name, Daenerys uh, might be pregnant or is pregnant. And even bigger, she thinks it's a boy, which is like the whole thing, right? Boys can become kings, girls can't. That's a huge deal. And Ned and the king were talking about this literally last episode, so... I didn't, I didn't expect it to happen like that, like that fast in one episode, but damn, like, so now probably what I'm guessing is there's going to be some war or something. I don't know. They're going to try to have to kill the, kill them. Basically the threat is growing in size. Uh, at first it was just like, she's with some warlord and they don't have ships. They can't cross the ocean to now, well, there's now a baby and it's a boy and Maybe they get some ships and, you know, now it's like it's getting a little more real, I think. So they got to watch out for that. Oh, when da Daenerys, uh, her brother, I still don't know his name. Uh, I don't really care at this point. I, I hate that guy. He got whipped up. I mean, he got choked out. He got put in his place. I mean, he was yelling and grabbing and just being crazy. Like he is unhinged. So to see him get, you know, put in his place like that was pretty uh, satisfying. I just feel like he's going to explode. Like there's just some... He has like this inner rage, you know, and he's super entitled. Like he feels so entitled to be the king and have everyone like 
obey him and you know oh my god we we love you we praise you like we'll do anything for you he's like giving orders and all this crazy stuff so i hope to god that that guy just gets i'm not gonna say it but i'd love to see that i would love to see that but if that doesn't happen i just feel like he's gonna pop off and do something crazy don't really remember anything else big um I mean, a couple more things they mentioned at the beginning uh, when Ned met like the the other people that work for the king. They mentioned the kingdom is in debt, which I mean, that seems pretty normal. Maybe back then it wasn't, but like obviously nowadays every country has debt, so I don't think that's a huge deal. They're going to have some sort of tournament for Ned becoming the hand of the king. Oh, one more thing. Uh, Tyrion got to piss off the edge of the world, so that was cool. That was funny to see. Oh yeah, and... So everyone keeps saying these these White Walkers aren't real and like whatever other things are past the wall aren't real. But we know they're real. Like we know that at least the White Walkers are real. And they mentioned a lot of like, they mentioned Wildlings a lot, a bunch of times. And I think I remember them saying that in the first episode a couple times. So I don't know, I don't really know the difference between White Walkers and Wildlings. If they're even related at all, I don't know. But my guess is that Wildlings are just people that live that on that side of the wall. Because they said that they were coming like across the wall from the north side of it and like talking about how they saw white walkers or whatever i think the white i think the wildlings are people um i think that's just their name for anyone that's over there potentially i don't know i could be wrong yeah i mean i think that's about it uh if i did miss anything you know in the recap section here uh, i apologize you know i'm gonna try to maybe write down at the end of the episode and get everything in order before i do it but Guys, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I love this episode. I no no wolf deaths, no crazy, you know, kids getting pushed out of windows and stuff. That's I love that. Uh the dialogue was, you know, everything in this show is building up. It, it just slowly bubbling, it feels like. I feel like things are gonna pop off pretty soon. I'm just I'm in love with the dialogue in this show. I just can't get over it. The writing is so good. The acting, the production, everything in the show is just 10 out of 10 so far for me. And the music, oh my god, the music, I can't even begin to talk about. I love music. This show has probably the best music I've ever seen in a TV show ever. Guys, this is a great show. Like, I'm excited. I'm happy to be watching this with you guys. I'm excited that you guys are here on this journey with me. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Please hit that like button. Really does help a lot. Like, helps the algorithm do all the little, you know, beep boop calculations or whatever. You know, push it out to more people and, and that helps me, you know, continue to make videos for you guys. If you could, drop a comment as well. Or tell me something you like. Tell me something you didn't like. Tell me something I could do better. I'm always trying to do better. Any feedback is welcomed at all. I hope I didn't talk too much this episode. I'm trying to bring it back. Trying to dial it down. I was a little bit nervous in the first two. So, but yeah, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to end this one in the, in the same way I've ended the last two. And just talk a little bit about mental health for one second. If anyone out there is struggling with mental health in any way, um, I just I implore you guys to talk to somebody. You know, anybody, friends, family, loved ones, professionals, anyone that you feel comfortable talking to about your mental health, about how you feel. Remember, it's okay to feel how you feel, and it is okay to talk about how you feel. Both are totally okay. Sometimes we just need open ears, you know, and it can really help to express that. You know, it can really help to let it out and just express it. And you just feel more connected to the world and people and, and yourself, you know. And all I can say, guys, is thank you so much. I really do appreciate you watching this. I hope everyone has a great day, a great week. I really do appreciate you guys. Take care.